Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The World of Reading. My name is Alice and today I'm going to be doing... I don't know what that is. I'm doing my least favorite books I've read since I started booktube video. Um, some of them are just disappointments um, because I couldn't come up with enough two and one stars to fill it. So I think one, two, three four of these books of the 10 books are still three stars but really really big disappointments for me so that's why i added them on here um i'm going to start with 10 and i'm going down to one um like actually four and then the last three just they're just as horrible together i can put them on this one is better just all three horrible <laughs> um so okay Book 10 is Joe's Boys by Louisa May Alcott. And I love um, Little Women and the second book in the series. But this one just let me down so, 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 so much. I just, I did not enjoy the characters, which is what drove the first and second book for me. Um, I just did not enjoy the storyline. I, I didn't, and I'm really sad about that um so that's why it's on there it just disappointed me so 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 much this ninth book on this list number nine is a child of the stars it's one of the books i own i own two of the books on this list um i just expected more for it the, the storyline sounded super interesting it's about this couple uh after this tragic thing they kind of adopt slash tail a scott child um and this child is an alien and it was just this premise sounded interesting but i just couldn't care as much storyline was good the writing style was okay but i just didn't care about the characters i didn't care about any of it and that was really really disappointing to me uh book eight was night shade by m l we this is an arc i got and, and actually don't really remember much about this book. Um, I think it's about the Cold War and she goes to spy um, in America. She's spy in America for the Americans and the Englishmen and, and things like that. But it just I just didn't really enjoy it that much. It was kind of boring, but that's okay. Um, the seventh book, the number seven on this list, is also a book I own and it's Illuminate by Amy Kaufman. I also give this three stars. Um, it's the second time I read it, but I just, I couldn't, I didn't enjoy it or enjoyed it enough to give it a three stars, but not that much. Um, I get, I, I get the greatness of the book, but I don't feel it. And I think that's something that happened with Jake Kristoff. I don't think Jake Kristoff is for me. I tried, um, what's the series, um, Nevernight, multiple times, but I just couldn't get into it. Um, so I don't think Jake Kristoff is the author for me. Uh, the sixth on this book, on this list, is A Court of Miracles by Kessler Grand. I give this two stars. I read this last weekend and I had a lot of high hopes for this but I actually didn't like it that much uh, I thought the story was okay a little bit boring um the romance was a straight romance I just didn't feel it at all and I strongly believe this could have been a perfect book if it had a sophic romance if you read the book and the relationships between girls it should have been a romance it should have been um but you know from the start it won't be um and that just said it could have been so much better if the romance was sapphic because i felt the energy between these two i felt the energy i felt the connection and I didn't feel that when any of the crushes you guys so that's what I really disappointed me and the story was 
okay. It wasn't that is interesting. Um, so that's that. I don't think I will continue with the series. It just, I don't think I will. Um, the uh, number five is the Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. It's a half an hour audiobook and uh, it's a trailer. And I realized I just don't want to try trailers anymore. They're just not for me. Um, I don't like them. And it's disappointing. I know it's disappointing for me too because I want to like them. But I just don't. And I need to accept that. I was just so bored in this book. Oh my god, it half hour. I just wanted to done and over with um which i know shouldn't be with a trailer you should want to know what happens and i just never do which is quite sad because i want to like thrillers <laughs> okay number four is one i read uh in the beginning of my booktube journey i think it's one of the first books i read when i was in booktube and it's crown of feathers by nikki pop this book was, I don't remember it at all. I just did not like it. I did not like the characters, which is a big, big no-no for me. I need to like the characters to care about the story. I, I don't know why. Um, and I didn't, I didn't like the characters. I didn't really care for the story. And actually, I don't remember a thing that happened in that book. I just know I like didn't like the characters and I hated it when I read it. <laughs> So down to the last three books. These three books, um, they are all bad and they're all awful and I just couldn't get rise them uh, from three to one. They're just all bad. Um, the first one is The Broke Code by Elizabeth A. Silbert. Um This was absolutely horrible. Um, I finished this in the first skeleton and I made myself finish this book. It's absolutely horrible. Uh, I treat women like trash, like absolute trash. It's white supremacy, 100%. Um, uh, it's like broke out and it's like they keep saying bros before house and that even means girlfriends, long-term girlfriends. And just not a way to treat women. And again, a little bit of spoilers. I said in the last one because I want to say this because this is the okay. I'm gonna put up a timestamp where you can jump to um, if you don't want to hear any spoilers. But I do think it's important to hear before you go into the book. But it's your decision, so I'm going to say it now, and the time so will be up here now. Um. The the love interest, the, main, uh, the woman, a uh, love interest, I don't know, she's a main character, no, I think he's a main character. Love interest, the woman, she almost gets raped, raped by her brother's best friend. And her brother knows, and he keeps silent, and he keeps being friends with that guy, and... He just pushes it away, and I think that's absolutely horrible. I just can't wrap my mind about it. It's just absolutely freaking horrible, and I just... I want to say this, because... Just don't read that book, okay? Please don't. Uh, okay. Next one is Wake by Lisa McMahon. Um, this, I just think... I read this for a live show from... Uh, from my book club, which I stepped out of uh, for personal reasons. But I, this book is so problematic. And it's just really, really is problematic. Um, the relationships just are not handled well at all. There's this relationship with the main character and her mom. And her mom is an alcoholic. And... It just shoved aside. It, the only thing that the book tells us is, oh, her mom is an alcoholic and the main character doesn't care. But that's not it. If someone's parents are alcoholic, it's a major impact on someone's life. It can be just brushed aside. And that's something that's really problematic. Because if maybe people read that 
and they have alcoholic parents and they have been through traumatic things and when they read that they feel like maybe it isn't that traumatic they're just handling it bad but that's not it and i think that's absolutely horrible i, I can't i just don't read it please i don't think that's just that's the biggest issue but i had an issue with the love relationship to just not handled well at all actually and i didn't really like the characters uh next is twilight which i dnf'd at 50 percent. i couldn't get into it and you guys know how bad twilight is it's awful it, you shouldn't read it i just please don't and like i know i love fucking movies i don't know why um but okay we'll see i don't just don't read that it's absolutely horrible i think I'm not going to be reading Midnight Sun ever, I think, so yeah, that's my opinion. Um, this was my video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click the little bell button down below. And I hope to see you next time. No one knows just what to say.